It's a life-changing treatment for people with food allergies, and doctors are hoping it's on its way to becoming mainstream. Oral immunotherapy is freeing families of the deadly dangers that food allergies can cause. Fox 10 News investigative reporter Shelby Myers is here now to tell us how this groundbreaking development works. Shelby? Well, Byron, imagine something as simple as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich having the power to kill you. That's reality for millions of people across our country, and it was the reality for Matthew Roberts. Not anymore, though, all thanks to this medical breakthrough. It almost became creating a bubble for Matthew to live in. Matthew Robbins looks like a normal teenager, but he's been living with a life-threatening allergy all of his life. I don't really remember the first time I had a reaction, but I know whenever I get reactions now that I start getting hives and I start sweating or coughing or sneezing a lot. Matthew is allergic to peanuts. So much so, just smelling them causes his body to start to shut down. He has to carry around an EpiPen in case he accidentally Dentally comes into contact with peanuts. I was school. It was good. Yes. A nightmare for Matthew's mother, Sharon, who discovered he was allergic after feeding him a peanut butter sandwich when he was two. Since then, life has been a challenge for the family. Typical things like playing baseball and taking family vacations could be dangerous. So if we get on a plane, we have to think forward and has somebody else been on that plane that's had peanuts? Has anybody touched something he's going to be touching? We would go get on the plane before other passengers with gloves and scrubbing um, like wet ones or, or disinfecting wipes, scrub the entire area that he would be sitting in, the tray table, his seat, and then sit beside him on a plane with an EpiPen and a mask in case somebody else ate peanuts around him. But life changed for the Robbins family last year. One of Matthew's teachers suggested the family try oral immunotherapy or OIT a fairly new treatment first tested in the early 2000s. This is the most rewarding and life changing of anything I've been involved with in the field of allergy. Dr. Carolyn Comer has been an allergist for 30 years, but it's only been two and a half years since she started her OIT practice at the Alabama Allergy and Asthma Center in Birmingham, the only city offering OIT in Alabama, and she is one of only two doctors who perform it in Birmingham. We start with a tiny, almost microscopic amount of peanut protein. And we gradually, um, in a set schedule over about six months, will increase this amount of protein um, each week as they come into the office. They'll come here, uh, take the, the next higher dose. They're in the office for an hour where we monitor vital signs before and after the dose. That small dose of peanut protein is dissolved into a liquid like cran grape juice, for example, or anything to dilute the taste. And then more and more peanut protein is added to the juice until patients are forced to face their fears and eat a whole peanut. Being told you can't be around peanuts all your life and then they're telling you to come in here and the peanuts and it's just it, I did not want to do it at all. He's a junior so when we told him you've got to think now about is your mommy coming with you to college? When you throw the word mommy out to a 16 year old a couple of times he quickly says where do I sign up for that? <laughs> Dr. Comer explains eating that tiny amount of peanut disrupts the cells that go out of control when faced with an allergen and desensitizes the immune system over time. It's down regulating, it's kind of turning that switch off um, so that it, it, if it goes off totally, that's secure. We want to get someone as close to being like someone without allergy as we can. So don't throw away that EpiPen just yet. OIT is not a cure, and it's still something patients will have to treat every day by taking a prescribed dose of whatever food they're allergic to. But the treatment has given Matthew a whole new lease on life. He can now be around peanuts in the dugout during baseball games, and flying across the country is now no problem. We took a trip that involved nine different flights and I wasn't always able to sit right beside him and for the first time I thought this is how it is to travel with kids and not have to sit beside them ready to jab them at any at any moment. 
And yeah, for that family, they're lucky they live in Birmingham. But Dr. Comer tells me almost half of her patients travel more than an hour and a half to her office. Some come from as far away as New Orleans. Because his treatment is fairly new and there's a risk the patient could have an allergic reaction during treatment, some doctors choose not to practice OIT. But Dr. Comer says there have been no fatalities due to reactions during treatment. OIT is also not FDA approved yet, but Dr. Comer says that could be changing very soon. And depending on your company, insurance might just cover it. Byron.